Have you ever bought something that had uh, like a lot of fine print on it and uh, you signed for it and didn't really read it? I've done that before. And sometimes I sign find myself signing off on something that I didn't know that I was saying yes to. That all of a sudden I have this or that or that I'm subscribed to this or that. And I'm like, okay, uh, didn't know that's what I was saying yes to. Well, I wouldn't say that Jesus is one who spoke in fine print. But there's a phrase today in the gospel that I think is interesting and it just seems like Jesus slipped it in there. Or I guess more accurately, it's easy for my eyes to pass over it. Jesus probably said this with conviction and his disciples heard it. So Peter asks, he says that we've given up all these things for you, Lord. What will there be for us? And Jesus tells him that you know anyone who's given up all of these things, their families and their livelihoods for my sake, will receive more now in the present age and in the age to come. He says they will receive um, you know, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. There's just that little phrase, with persecutions. Hmm. I seem, that I seem to miss that the first time I read it or the first hundred times I read it because I don't want to know that that's true. I'd rather think that Christianity is going to be easy, wouldn't you? I mean, I'd like to think that I've signed on to something that's just going to make my life better and easy. It will make my life better, I hope, but it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Especially if I truly follow Jesus, Jesus tells us that there will be persecutions in this world because this world does not is, is under the power of the evil one. In many ways, the evil one has so much influence and so with Jesus there, there's going to be pushback. Whenever we do something for the kingdom, a lot of times there's pushback. And not that we ever try to do that, but when that happens, to me, it, it is something there's a little bit of a comfort in it. Just a small comfort because it, it still hurts. But the comfort is that Jesus said that this would happen. It's also a chance for me to check how I am approaching people and situations because I know I'm not perfect and I need help and I need to continue to be transformed to be converted from sinfulness to holiness. But if I am truly trying to spread the love of Jesus and what I'm saying and doing, and then I find these persecutions, it's a moment for me to give it to the Lord and also give thanks because he said this is going to happen. It happened to him, of course, in the most radical way involving his death. So let us be content with those persecutions, or at least know that they might come. Because when we do suffer with Jesus, we're suffering for the kingdom. And he has promised us much more in this age and in the age to come.